and Tangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! Good evening and welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent Van Dahl. With me is my studious, if somewhat bewildered and overwhelmed butler, Mr. Livingston. And the dainty living doll over to this side, whose beauty, grace, and charm is surpassed in quantity only by the sheer number of warrants for arrest issued in her name, would be my soft-spoken housemate, Miss Tangella. And we have a most incredible program in store just for you. Firstly, our film. Tonight we shall present for the first time ever on Creature Features, Journey to the Center of the Earth. I still have no idea how you do that. Tangela taught me that trick. Piece of cake, really. Simply point your mouth towards the concave glass above the mezzanine and use your loudest voice. Echo. Ow! Well played, mate. Onward. This made-for-television movie from 1993 is actually a fairly well-done film, albeit helmed by several somewhat forgettable stars. Though it does contain a few actors of note for which you may be familiar, like Tim Russ. He portrayed the Vulcan Tuvok on Star Trek Voyager. And yet another Roddenberry alum would be Carol Strucken. He played the giant Mr. Holm on The Next Generation. And we cannot for a moment overlook F. Murray Abraham. Quite a fine thespian is he, despite the fact that he happened to portray the miserable sod who murdered Mozart. And finally, horror director Sam Raimi is at the bottom of the credits list for portraying Collins. Not sure why, but you should watch for him. Oh, of course. Tangela said I would be amiss to not mention that the film utilizes Sir John Neville, who portrayed Baron Munchausen in the 1988 film in the same name. A ridiculous film. Never mind him. He always becomes cross when films about German characters are not presented in the German language. Guest-wise, we'll be joined by the talented Andrew Goldfarb. He's the editor-in-chief of the wonderfully bizarre Freaky Magazine. It's something like Mad Magazine, but far more mad-like and madly. He'll tell us everything there is to know about his rag, regale us with tales about the other wonderful things he has in the works, and chime in about tonight's film. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of underground fright, right here on Creature Features. Oh, cod swallow. Well done, mate. Stay tuned. Welcome to Creature Features. It's that time of the week that, uh, you know, people like this time of the week because it's, uh, it's not the other time of the week, which works That's out true. nicely. It's yeah. Creature Feature time Sometimes. of the week. Yes. And we're with Andrew Goldfarb. Uh, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Goldfarb. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, do you say it? You can also say the slow poisoner. Why would I say the slow poisoner? Well, it rolls off the tongue maybe a, a little more showbiz-like than Andrew Goldfarb. But what I do is I stick it in between. Um, so I, I'll just do it once. Let me um, see you do it. Andrew, the slow poisoner, Goldfarb. I won't say that. Okay. And oh, not can... because I, I don't want to or refuse. It's because I cannot put those syllables together accurately. 
I understand, and it often comes out the slow prisoner, which oh, you know, I can do that. I tried to work into my act for the a while, you know, and I was doing the stripey thing, and that was good. Oh, all right. But um, the ball and chain was a drag. Ball and chain's a drag. That's a good one. So well, wait, I'm, we have not properly introduced you. So you, Andrew, the poisoner, slow poisoner, gold fob. Which I can say it you, slowly you, once. You've managed that. I can do it slowly now. once. It's all. It's you all are editor and grand poobah of Freaky Magazine. Yes, that is one of the things I do. No, I imagine that's only one because there's more things that you do, right? One of, right. One of the things. Yes. Not that anything else I do is important because it could be like one of the things and the other thing is tying my shoes. And you. No, I'm exactly the will, same way. You know, people think all I do is sit in this chair all day. You don't tie your shoes. No, not these. So it wouldn't be one of your no. two things. I'm not good at tying my shoes. It's not that I don't know how. It's because I don't do it well enough so they stay tied. So I always trip on my shoelaces and I, I buy shoes with zippers only. I, I understand that. They look well worn. Have, they are. I, I imagine fighting. walking a mile in your shoes. Enough about me. Let's okay. talk about you. We are going to watch Journey to the Center of the Earth with you from 1993. And you've seen this movie a long time ago, I understand. No, I watched it very recently. Oh, you did? Because yes. you knew you were going to be on the show and we were going to show this I film. did. I, I watched it while I was painting these um, splotches of paint on my you shirt. Did the, you made that shirt? Well, the shirt came with the skulls. My friend Gary gave me a shirt with skulls on it. But... I figured I would paint on the shirt while I watching the film, and then I would be able to tell whether it was more interesting to watch the paint dry or to of watch no, right. the 1993 Journey to the Center of the Earth. And for the first 20, 30, even 40 minutes, the, the paint, paint drying was a the little more captivating, drying. but then, man, it switched everything. Tell it me, was an that glow in the dark paint? I hope. It looks like it is. We're, we're in a very luminous environment. It I is. think no, things no. glow here. We need to put on lights here because wouldn't. this is a dark home. We're all getting better at seeing. Right. One would hope. Eat carrots and other good vegetables. Spinach. All right. What do you say we start this film and then we get back? Let's take a look at your magazine. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Off we go. Journey to the Center of the Earth, 1993. This is a good movie, despite what reviewers and critics might say. Hang in there. Check it out. See you soon. Hello YouTube viewers, have you subscribed yet? I see a few of you have forgotten to do so. I am somewhat disappointed. Please subscribe. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, we are with Mr. Andrew Goldfarb. He is the editor and chief of Freaky Magazine. I'm going to talk about this in a moment. But first, the film. So, two craft are down in the center of the earth. The I mean, second craft, I've right. got to say, though, they've got these maroon outfits right. that really say that they mean business, right? I mean, maroon. when you see like six or seven people wearing these sort of maroon jumpsuits, Things are going to happen. Now, you know, it's, it's, it's a good color if you are either a rescue mission or Santa Claus. Yeah, totally. Right. Yeah. Right. And, you know, the whole hollow earth thing, you know, it's, it's sort of back. I, I think there's a lot of, lot of new energy right. around the flat earth and the hollow earth. No, it must, it must come back like every 40 years. Right, 1993, 2023, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And, maybe, um, maybe my math is not as good as it used to be, but. I know that recently professional athletes have been returning to the flat earth theory. Oh, not this again. Flat earth. You know, all you need to do is go to the beach and look at the horizon. And you can see that it's not flat. Well, that's, yeah, right, 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 right. And then the really advanced theory beyond the hollow earth theory that we see in the film is the idea that the world is an inverted globe 
and we're oh. on the inside. You know, when the, we look up, the stars are the lights of China right. because we're on the inside. No, and China has some nice lights. Right. Right. Now, Which is why they're There was an episode of Star Trek that covered something like this. It's, Star it's Trek a thinker. Next Generation, right. Yeah. And, you know, they called it a Dyson sphere. Oh. And it was a giant, giant sphere, and there was a sun in the middle. And the occupants were all along the You'll inside. never know, you know, unless you're, I guess, in space. Right, right. right? Well, speaking that's of space. Not, that's not happening. I want to talk about the space in between my hands, which is... It your will turn your fingers it. black. But it looks like you've got yeah, the gloves, like it. so it's all going to match, no, especially on those, those with the photographs. I, it's worth it. It's, it's like old school newsprint, right? Right, which is why the fingers turn black, because that's the way we used to do it. You know, the Times of London in the 60s, used 70s. to do the same thing, yeah. and that was a uh -huh. good sign. If, if You could tell how smart someone was by how black their fingers were, because it meant they read the Times. Or their chimney sweeps. Or their chimney sweeps. Chimney soups. Also, never thought of that. a font of yeah. knowledge. I, I wonder how many people I credited with being smart who is simply something else. Well, if you've well, got grime on you, you've learned something. All right, right? we are I mean, talking about everything except your, your magazine, fingers. my friend. Tell me, how did you start this? Uh, well, I was drawing some funny pages, and you know, other folks that I knew was drawing some funny pages too. And I thought we'd put it all together in a little booklet and put it out on a regular basis, which is something that people used to do really frequently. Not so much now because there's this, the internets, right. which are, are wonderful for so many things, but you can't smell them. No. And what I'm about to do, you can only try at home, which right. is to huff some freaky magazine, because well, this is fresh off, you've got fresh off the printer there, so take a big no, sniff. It, 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 smells like, it smells like the times. Right, it's knowledge. No, it's like being in London again. Except, instead of looking at bad news, I'm looking at good news. And you could wrap your fish and chips in it, right? Because that's right. after you... Yeah, that's right. This and so wonderful. it's good for the, the, the eating as it's well. Good and it's good for why. everything. All right, well, we're going to talk some more about this when we come back. But first, let's get back to Journey to the Center of the Earth, as he smells his magazine. And uh, we will see you guys on the other side of the letters. See you soon. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to Creature Features. Mr. Andrew had to step away for a moment, or Tangela made him step away. Yeah, you know, she does that sometimes. I think she frightened him. Well, you know, she frightens lots of people. She she frightens giant men, giant monster men. So, anyways, we're gonna do some mail because uh, she's here and he's here. And we have some. And you've got mail, right? Indeed. Tell me what you got, Mr. Livingston. There's something from a Mr. Trash Dude. No, it's the Trash Dude. The Trash Dude. So it's not like Mr. because Mr. would imply many. The implies there's only one trash dude. Although we have a trash dude that comes here once a week to pick up our trash as well, right? Except we call it rubbish. In England, you'd be called rubbish man, rubbish dude. Hello, Creature Features cast and crew. I discovered your show this week and while I was homesick with a flu. Love your program. I have no idea how your show has escaped me for so long. Creature Features is exactly the type of programming I search for on YouTube. I think it would be really cool to see Tangela dancing to the classic classics four song spooky and then blow up the phonograph with high explosives a good time for one and all 
Keep up the great work, and I will catch you on the weekend. Sincerely, the trash dude. All right, so this has been suggested before, and she doesn't really like that song. At least she, she changes the station when it comes on the radio, so maybe she does like it, but I don't think she'll dance to it. Will you dance to that song? See? Let's not give her any ideas. No, well, it's a blown up the phonograph part that hmm. could be problematic. That concerns me. Next up, Mr. Livingstone. This is a package. Oh, look at this. It's got our photograph on it. So this is so they know it's for us, right? So we can't mistake it, that's for no, sure. No, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, look at all this. My goodness, this person. There's also money. Oh, there's there. money as well. You know, one of these days we're gonna receive a box with a million dollars inside. And one, you know what I'm gonna buy? I don't know. A dinghy. I've always wanted a dinghy and I, I'm told I cannot afford one. All right, look at this fancy note. Creature features male, dear Vincent Tangella and Mr. Livingston. I pray this message finds all of you doing well and frolicking happily about the Bolta Manor. Um, no, we don't frolic, but... Uh, One does not frolic here. No, this is not a place to frolic. I'm a music artist from Grass Valley, California, and a fan of your past musical works as well. See, somebody listens to my music. <sighs> I'm enclosing two copies of my most recent CD. I'm going to let you open this, love. Uh, I'm closing two copies of my most recent CD in the hopes that you will get hours of enjoyment out of them. If not, then they do make great coasters for your table. They also make wonderful Frisbees as well. Remember remember that one bloke sent us that really bad music and we use it as a Frisbee? You used it as a Frisbee. I know. Well, I was actually trying to deliver it to John Provo's house because when the wind blows correctly, I can fling a CD and it will catch the wind and float down to his home and hopefully land on his patio without shattering. It's like water skimming. Yes, thank you. Myself and my team here at SE Studios love your show and love your quirky yet comedic relief on a Friday or Saturday night. Tangelo is my favorite. I recently participated in a contest at my local strip club and I was able to earn a little bit of scratch for the Creature Features production team. Personally, I think you should use it to buy toys for Tangela and more bandages for Andrew. In close, you'll find some money and a few Christmas gifts. Music CDs for Vincent, a monkey hand puppet for Tangella, and a couple of rechargeable flashlights for Mr. Livingston to find his way around the dark manor, and two band-aids for Andrew. Much love and respect, Robbie Spencer and the SE Studios crew. Well, thank you, Robert. And uh, does he say where he's from? Grass Valley. Grass Valley, California. Now, have you been to Grass Valley, have you not? Twice. You know the, what there's lots of in Grass Valley? Grass. Hills. Hills. It's a hilly place. Because it's a valley, right? Something like that. We Give me some mail, Mr. Livingston. Gloucester City, New Jersey. Clouch? Gloucester. Gloucester, right. Tracy Presser. You know, that's a complete sentence. That is a complete sentence. Tracy Presser is a complete sentence. All right, here we go. What do we got? Oh, it's, it's, it's a handwritten note with a check. Fifty dollars. Fifty American dollars. This is wonderful. And it's not for you. She'll spend it on bad things. And this is a very neatly written, handwritten thing. So let's see what we got. Dear Creature Features Gang, greetings and felicitations. My hubby and I recently found your show while perusing YouTube for suitable Halloween fair back in September. And it was love at first viewing. I grew up in the 70s watching the likes of Creature Double Feature and Dr. Shock's Mad Horror Theater, so when I discovered Creature Features, it felt like coming home. I believe all horror hosts need love, including Sven Goli and Joe Bob Briggs, so I hope these occasional bobs I've heard were in jest. Now, we, we do joke about them quite a bit, but we do like them, right? I mean, they do this better than I do. I've never seen them. Well, you should watch it one time. You should know who your competition is. I have no competition. No, well, neither do we, because it's, it's like an entirely different program. The only thing we have in common is we, we all serve movies, which you can say the same thing about Steven Spielberg and a theater operator. Could you not? Yes. There you go. How's that beard healing? It's still painful. Looks like you've got a patch missing. All right. Uh, what I love most about Creature Features is your affinity for showing cheesy made-for-TV horror movies from the 70s, which are like 
mother's milk to me. By the way, my hubby Ross requests you show I was a zombie for the FBI. That sounds fantastic. Oh, dear. Have you heard of this film? No. I was a zombie for the FBI, 1982. Personally, I'd rather see Escape from Bogan County, 1977. That's another one I've never heard of. Is that actually horror? It, it sounds like one of those, those, um, those, 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 what's he called? Smoking the Bandit movies. Uh -huh. It sounds like a Smoking the Bandit movie. With the lovely and talented Jacqueline Smith, I'd also like to know if that adventurous vixen, Miss Tangela, ever took a field trip to the fellow Earthlings Wildlife Center in Morongo Valley. Never heard of it. I would so love to visit the Darling Meerkats myself, but unfortunately I exceed the weight limit to view the compound safely. What does that mean? I'm not sure. Thank you for all the, providing such a wonderful show. We look forward to enjoying many more years of Creature Features. Affectionately yours, Tracy Presser, Gloucester City, New Jersey. And uh, can you provide us with the lyrics to the CF theme song? If you watch on YouTube, just turn on um, closed, captioning. closed captions. And then, uh, no, there's no lyrics though. We just show the names of the movies. Hmm. That's right. We should show the names of the movies, don't show the lyrics. So. Um, I didn't know what to tell you. Uh, the lyrics all, can you feature a creature feature, feature, creature, feature, creature, creature, features, right? Something like that? Something like that. Next time we have Zetra on, we'll have him recite the lyrics in normal language, as opposed to the singing, screaming, right? Well, they can copy the film, the uh, show, and then just slow it down, stop oh. it when they yeah. transcribe it. Yeah, he's got a point. That's, that's mm. how I learned how to play guitar. All right. Anyways, thank you, Tracy. Anything else? That's it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own by email, send it to the address you see appearing over here. Or if you'd like to send a letter with a check or a box with gifts, use the postal address you see right here. We'll be back with Andrew soon, but first let's get back to Journey to the Center of the Earth. Freaky magazine time, freaky magazine time. But first, let's talk about this film. Uh, so going into lava pits is not something I ever wanted to do as a child or a young adult. And I don't know why these people in this movie want to go into a lava pit. We should ask Elon Musk, because Elon Musk was drilling and was big on going downwards. What was that thing he called? The Boring Company, which the was a great, company. great right. name for it a was. company, no. right? I mean, the Boring Company, Right. Elon one, Musk. One who bores yes. in one or two different ways. Right, right. right. Yeah. But um, Maybe we'll get him on the show next week, but to, today we have the wonderful Andrew Goldfarb, who is the editor-in-chief of Freaky Magazine. And this is, you know, I was telling Livingston, this is like Mad Magazine, but maybe better. How would you describe it? Well, I, I started at Mad. I was in Mad for a few issues, and uh, Mad um, had some financial issues. Sometimes when you're a giant lumbering beast, you get absorbed by other big lumbering beasts. Right. And then those beasts answer to their sh shareholders in ways that, are difficult, you know. And this then is, this is a corporate song I've heard many times. Yeah, so it's off the newsstands now. Right. It still exists uh, by subscription. Uh, Freaky, Mad Magazine. Mad Magazine. Right. So Freaky uh, was an answer for a number of us to continue on with new material. Oh, how fun! And so a number of the artists in Freaky were in Mad, uh, and even Cracked, if you remember Cracked. Oh which was yes, the I do remember that one. To right. Mad. Uh, but it also incorporates um, more um, uh, avant-garde and underground, bohemian no, I know some of the, sorts of things. Some of the pictures are rather twisted. 
I like it. We're going to put a couple it's of these. It's dark. I, I refer to it as a weird humor magazine. It is a weird humor magazine. Like, no, this one where the caveman has gone piddle on the fire. Well, it's, you're at the dawn of time. There right. are different directions that I that like stream it. of history can go. That's and one right. of them is to see that man has discovered fire and say, no, we're not having any of that. Right. That will only lead to trouble. Next thing, you've got electricity. And you're in a situation like this. Right, right. All right, so uh, you've done so far eight issues. Yeah, about uh, every six months, every which six is months. an interesting period of time. You know, it sneaks up on you. Now, could you find this at your local grocer magazine rack? Not quite that far. All right. But um, the more offbeat, Bookstore. unusual, yes. Right. And I've got them. Name on, three. Well, um, the Anarchist Bookstore. Anarchist Bookstore. There's one, there's one right down the street, I think. And the San Francisco one is the one I'm thinking of. In uh, Paris, get yourself a copy of Freaky at Falitas in Tattoo Paris, Shop. France. Paris, France. All right. Those and, of you in Paris watching. And um, in Chicago, go to Quimby's. Quimby's. I, you know, I've never seen this establishment, but I love the name. It's full of magic beans pretending to be magazines. Magic beans pretending to be magazines. That, I think, is going to be the most quotable thing you've said tonight. All right, so if people want to buy this online and they're uh, not freaky near these magazine places, dot com. Freaky freaky magazine magazine dot com will bring com. you to Freaky Magazine. Calm, and you can read this yourself. It's fun. Is there an electronic version? Uh, only a few pages. I exist right. yeah. mainly in the analog, but I'm yeah. going to leave some copies prefer, for your Patreon subscribers. We, we're going to send a couple of these to our Patreon subscribers, courtesy of Andrew, and let's say we get back to this film. All right, it's getting good, folks. The triangular, flat, fanged things are coming on. Oh, no spoilers. It's no an enticement. Spoilers. It's a teaser. All right, off we go. Journey to the Center of the Earth, 1993. See you soon. Hi, my name is Anna. I live in St. Charles, Missouri. I just want to let you know that I love your Creature Feature show so much. Thank you. Despite my previous protestation, I see a few of you have still not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet. Please, I implore of you to do so. Thank you. Welcome back to Creature Features. If you're just joining us, you are super late. Actually, super, they miss so much of your presentation. It's ridiculous. But you're at a good part with the movie now. Things are getting interesting, right? Like but new they don't layers. know how we got here. If they're late, they... they but they're in the center it. of the earth. There are days like that. You just wake up someplace strange, and you have to like just figure out, okay, I, I'm in a big cavernous you know something and it's all purple with smoke right. and there's the um you know globby triangular things there's the guy with the tubes is that the official title of those creatures the globby triangular things? it's a different language oh. because we saw that they figured out how to get you know this whole language thing worked out right because they use it for uh, you know the new friend to the right. crew that comes right. on board all right They've, they, they get that going. But I think some of this in just nerdy point here, it was going to be a series, but they didn't get oh, that far. This so is a some pilot? of this wasn't, yeah, some of this didn't get oh, fleshed I out didn't entirely. Know. For You know, TV movies, that's, that's no, how it rolls. Oh, that makes sense now because they were going to work all these details out later. Right. The like, like the Book of Knowledge, the puzzle pieces, I'm not sure we got. Well, let's let the story well, unroll. Well, you know, I think the giant Yeti guy would have been a good character. I think he would have been the hero of the show. Yeah, a little bit like, you know, Land of the Lost or Bigfoot yeah. and Wild I think, Boy. Had seen I think that if this had been a success, then the Happy Meal would have featured the Yeti guy. Harry 
big things. Right. Uh, the good. world loves them. No, they go well with hamburgers. Yeah. I'm told. I yeah. Think. All right, well, enough about the film. Let's talk about your music, The Slow Poisoner. Right. This is, this is your world debut album? No, no, I've been doing this for a while, Vincent. I've played 609 performances. 609? 609. You know, starting in the, in the 90s, actually. You know, I had a band called The Slow Poisoners. Well, I used to play music. I never counted my performances. How, how do you do it? Well, I have my own website. So, no. you know, I put one on, and then I'm, in a way, a lazy man. Oh. And so I just left it, you know, and accumulated. Yeah, that makes but sense. Usually, it's a guitar thing, but I've been experimenting. I was wondering, what is this? With the, with the different acts. So I, it speak. looks like a small ukulele case for an Undertaker. But yeah, uh, my friend Johnny Coffin made this case. Johnny Coffin. You know. And I'm, I'm not that's sure. a real person. He, is that a real person? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Johnny Coffin. Johnny He's real. Coffin. And uh, he makes the coffin cases. But I think this one is actually designed for drumsticks, but the, I do not play the drums. Right. But percussion has been an interest lately. Oh. Because uh, I picked this up from my friend Heidi of Five Cent Coffee. You can play the chain. I'll demonstrate. In the gloom, in the gloom, where the lone some thistles bloom. Uh, you know, I, I think that's, that's unique and, and different. And... You can use you, it as a chain. Right. You've right. got a chain. And yeah. it actually, it has, you know, there's something about performing with the chain that makes people angry. Sometimes. Did it make no, you a little? No, no, it no. made me confused. That's all it, it, it brings up it feelings. It me confused. Yeah. And I think it can also be used in combat. Right. You know, well, I was at a bar weapon. and someone said, hey, you can't do that. That's a chain. Now, and I said, you know, I've got we, the chain. We could, we could say this about a guitar as well, though, right? I mean, it's been used that way. And the used. bagpipes. A weapon. No, bagpipes. Designed as a weapon, though. No, bagpipes are to repel humans. Yeah, no, effective. It's, it's a sound, you know, you, you've seen these devices they make for homes where you plug it into the wall and it's supposed to repel the mice by using a certain frequency. And I, I learned this from a scientist. The, the bagpipe does the same thing. That's why the approaching Scottish army is blowing bagpipes because they hope their opponents will run away. But it's a beautiful sound. Wouldn't you run to the bagpipe? Oh, no, it's not. Really? No, no, it's not a beautiful sound at all. No, they only use them at funerals. It's, well, it's a very sad, sad thing. It works with ACDC. You know, that was a fluke. I, I don't know why. That's the only time in rock and roll history that bagpipes for the song, It's a Long Way to the Top if you want to rock and roll. And it is. It is a long way to the top. Yeah. But they didn't have a chain. But you know what's, what's funny about that is if you listen to the song and watch the performance, you see Bon playing bagpipes. But on the recording, there must be five bagpipes. It's not just one. One, one bagpipe does not sound good. Four bagpipes sound all right. Five sound wonderful. And that's what they had, five. That's true of a lot of things. Like they have to be in the right number. Drumsticks. A single drumstick cannot make music. Two. Same with how they feel. That's right. Well, you say we get back to this film. Okay, yeah, All it's right. gonna get good. All right, if we go to Journey of the Center of the Earth, and uh, when we come back, uh, we're gonna talk about your Mad Magazine stint. Okay. All right, off we go. Bye. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you.
This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Oh, welcome back. So, uh, this movie, this big blob on the wall, he seems to be some kind of controlling entity of some kind. Yeah, it's it's hard to say quite where that's going, but wherever you're going... No spoilers. They're traveling in a giant screwdriver. It's yeah. like a big flat-headed screw screwdriver. A screw or a screwdriver? It's like a chisel. A chisel. Like a big chisel. Well, I guess that makes sense. If you're going into yeah, the earth, chisel. you want a big chisel, right. right? Right. But who's driving the hammer? And who's singing the song, that's right? right. You, you, need, you need a melody. That's right. No, I, 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 if, if this was a different movie, they'd be singing something like, here we go in my beautiful balloon. But you cannot say that about an underground film now, can you? You could say, down, down, we screw ourselves down. All right. No, that works for me. Mad Magazine. Yes. Uh, this is wonderful. I've never seen one so colorful. They, they grew more florid and, and fluorescent towards the end. You know, I this think is the, um, that may be what did the men. Both wonderful and you know, bizarre. No, it, it's just... it does not seem like the Mad Magazine that I knew. But, you know, there's a lot more work in this. And you did Hot Horror Planet. Yeah. We're going to put a big one up. Hot Horror Planet. This was your entry on this issue. Yeah, this I was in one. a few of them. Um, so this you know, is the kind of art you do. Yeah, this some is cartooning. Your style. Yes, that this was your style, right. that was the, my work. I love you know, it. And it features my creation, Weird Beard, which also shows up in the annual uh, Mad Holiday Special. And Weird Beard is a self entity of a beard. Yeah, it's just a floating beard. You know what I mean? Oh, like nice. um, sometimes. The beard's got to go, and then once it sprouts its own eyeballs, it really can oh. write its own ticket. No, that's a that's an interesting aspect. Like, There's where did your beard go? It could be out I there. I can't grow a beard. It, it may just, you know, no. it may just be gone. I tried to grow a beard, and I get, like, four angry hairs on my chin. That's it. Four hang angry hairs? Right. That's a comic strip. That's a comic strip. No, about at rabbits, right? Maybe both, right? right. Like tiny no. bunnies living on your chin. Wouldn't tiny that be amazing? They would multiply. Wow. Maybe that's how this works. He's a creative if you have, bloke. If you have tiny bunnies making your chin hairs, your whiskers, right? Right. right. They would and multiply. They, they all hold hands and yeah. make a beard. No, that's quite it's a like a little Easter could, special on your like face. It could be like a microscopic adventure type show. Happening Maybe. right now as that's we right. speak. All right, so you did this for how long, Mad Magazine? Um, that was for three or four issues, nice. and uh, they they then you know left the newsstands, and that's when that's I too bad. pulled but up. But you say that's but still available online. I, uh, they are still doing subscription, mostly reprint. But right. I am in the annual holiday special, so nice. um, around Christmas time. Very nice, very nice. Now Christmas issues are always good at Mad Magazine, right? Yeah, because that's when Santa loses a tooth. You know, we had Santa in that very seat. Recently. I felt a little tingle. No. And I was going to say that this is the very actual comfortable. Santa. People always think we got a mole Santa. We, we got the actual Santa here. I think you could get anything here you want. It seems yeah. like a very fertile environment. No, we, we cannot get pizza deliveries because the pizza man refuses to come up the road. He's been frightened once or twice. All right, what do you say we get back to this film? And uh, I just yes. to wrap it up, right? It's going to get smoky. We're gonna, we're in the 90s, it's purple smoke. You purple know, that's smoke is no, it's a good 92% thing. of the film. No, that was, that was something that inspired Prince or the artist formerly yeah. known yeah, as Prince. Yeah, it's actually uh, uh, probably Prince derived. The 80s Prince, derived. Yeah, Prince led right. to the 90s TV horror film right. production. Yeah, no, he was talented. All right, off we go. Journey to the center of the earth. We will see you on the other side of the credits. Don't go away, because if we come back from the credits and you're not there, we're going to be quite sad, right? Um, okay. Right. Yeah. See you soon.
This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned. I imagine you are becoming almost as tired of seeing me as I am of making these messages. Please subscribe. Two other adventures that will never happen. It's kind of sad. Where in God's name is Tangella? Uh, she drove off in the Mercedes. I'm not sure where. My Mercedes she took off in? Yes. I did not give her either permission nor the keys to that vehicle. That has never stopped her before. He's right about that. All right. Well, you do. What do you think of the magazine? It's a rather odd sense of humor. That's a compliment from him. I appreciate that, Livingston. No, no. Typically, he would say it is rubbish and not worth the paper it is printed on. He said that to a guest once, and he's saying your thing is interesting, so he likes your magazine. Right. Anyways, uh, welcome back. Uh, that was the end of uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, and uh, now it's. I can see why it did not become a regular show. It is such high hopes. There's right. optimism. You know, the there maroon was. outfits just say we have something to offer. But no, the, the end, maroon, the no, maroon was enough. good, but yeah. I think they were marooned it's, under the earth. That's a good point. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sad. So uh, we'll show this movie again in um, seven years, right? If we're lucky. If we're lucky. Maybe we'll show it in seven years. Maybe we'll show it in six. Maybe we'll never show it again. We never know. Good thing you watched it tonight, though. Anyway, so what's next for you, Mr. Andrew? Well, I'm doing a, a streaming show on the YouTubes. Um, nice. It's like a children's show, but, you know, twisted. Twisted, twisted children's children. show. Yeah. And you can find that at theslowpoisoner.com. Theslowpoisoner.com. Mm hmm And that's, uh, that's going to be a fun thing. That, yeah. uh, is it educational? Uh, no, not at all. Is no, that? no. The values are sorted and disturbing. Oh, it's children? like Kiwi by way of David Lynch. Oh, all right. But hmm. it's, it's, it's all... It sounds like something Tangella might watch. I think so. No, it's a silly girl. She like drove it, off yeah. in a Mercedes. You know, I, I bet you she went down to get some tofu. Perhaps. No, she told me she had... Uh, she was feeling a bit peckish for tofu. So I think she went down. Maybe she'll bring back some for all of us, right? Oh, I hope not. So you're doing that and then uh, publishing more... Oh, issues freaky, of freaky, yeah, right? And, you know, more songs with the chain. Nice. Uh, you know, no, chain songs are that, good. Yeah. You should, you should get several other musicians to do the same thing and start a chain gang. Oh, gosh. Right. Oh, dear. No, that, would be, uh, that would be good. No one would mess with us. No, that's the sound. We could play that, biker bars. Biker bars? Yeah. Oh, all right. No, biker bars can be entertaining if you drive a bike, like an actual bicycle, right? And they have chains. Motorcycle. Uh, also with chains. With chains. Motorcycle or bicycle mm. chain. Mm -hmm. All right, All right mm. this is getting silly. I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you so much, Andrew, for coming up to see us. Well, it's um, my pleasure. It's, it's lovely to be here. It, no, it, it's lovely to have you here. And uh, it was lovely to hear about all this stuff. And you got a compliment from Livingston, which is unique. Uh, it means a lot coming from you, it is. Livingston. It is. I it's appreciate unique. it. And as far as you guys go, thank you so much for watching the program tonight. We know you could have been sleeping or doing something more productive than watching our silly show, but you stayed with us. And for that reason, we love you. We'll see you next week. Different movie, different guests. Don't know who, don't know what, but it'll be fun. See you then. So, uh, Andrew, you know, I'm thinking with this wonderful magazine of yours, Perhaps you might consider doing a panel about our home here in Bodega Bay. Well, yeah, that's a good idea, Vincent, but don't you think it would be for the birds?